I will. You talk to me for two minutes. No, zero minutes. I don't what, want to ever talk to you. What I don't want to hear your voice. You, please, what, what God happened? bless you, but what please leave me alone. Step, step, step. Please leave me alone. Please, uh, stop following me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop stress. stalking me. Please, I can't live here anymore because you stalked me. That's no, why no, I moved. No, no, no. Just don't. Leave me alone. God, I will. You leave me alone. What part of leave me alone do you not get? Um, Mr. Perry wants to starve me into a lie, so my uh, work went shitty yesterday. Thanks for that. Um, the, uh, the thing is, Mr. Perry, you want me to lie for you, but you keep doing exactly what I say. So I've given the example bazillions of times of Mr. Neely that we've asserted you killed Chief Miller and framed Officer Neely. I was supposed to testify for him, and you wouldn't let me. So, um, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of brains to put it together, and, you know, people can figure out that you did something. Um, I just filed a car vandalism complaint. Mr. Perry has gone at my car, and 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 gone at my car again, and, got it, and gone at it again. I've got... Five wrecks in three years just after he was recorded saying uh, I'm going to take her car away from her and um, it's not legit but I'll have it towed and sold before she figures that out I mean what am I supposed to do lie that you wrecked it five times in three years just after that flatten tires taking tail lights out so you'll you know you want to have me pulled over I've got um you guys call up here once a week asking them to pull me over it's not a secret everybody knows that um what am I supposed to lie about, Mr. Perry? You're a stalker. You don't understand what people say to you. You got something wrong with you. Huntington's disease or something causes paranoia and delusion. Um, look, I'm not into you. I don't like you. You disgust me. I feel nothing but deep, deep disgust. You know, being a... T Women are turned off by peep and toms. And that's what you are. A hacker, peep and tom, stalker, wannabe. And um, just like this guy. And you never shut up. You know, you always got to say what you think, and I want to lie, and I want you to make, you know, starve. I'm going to starve you until you do what I tell you. You've been recorded saying that over and over and over and over and over. So, I'm starving. Am I lying for you? What am I supposed to lie about? He threatened me with starvation, co you know, coercion by starvation. And so, um, I've gone without electricity and food for a week. I've lost my home now. And, um... You keep trying to take my car. You want to force me back to Texas or New Mexico or somewhere else. Get her out of Oklahoma. Well, I came here to get away from you, sir. No one invited you here. I didn't invite you here. I don't want you in my life. I didn't take you around to my family and introduce you. I would never have allowed you to be around my family. In fact, I think I told you to stay away from them, didn't I? Are you threatening my family, Mr. Perry? You're just like a big blob of strange-o. So, um, what do you want me to lie about? You're doing everything I say. You're doing every fucking thing I say. Mike Neely was drugged. I said it in January 2020. I said it again in March 2020. And then Depo's confirmed he was drugged. He was treated with Narcan. He didn't do it. You did it. So, um, you wanted to bribe me, and I said, no, I'm not taking your fucking bribe. You actually do owe me money. You owe legitimate debt. Why don't you pay that and get the fuck out of my life? I mean, you just create more evidence against you by the minute. Um, nobody's gotten this much. Uh, so now, today, I mean, we got more. Because you won't fuck off and leave me alone. You're just generating more and more evidence against you. And nobody's gotten this much against you and your little weirdo club as we have. When you fucked with me, you get caught. When he pesters her and takes her money, things don't go well for us. We're seeing things happen we've never seen before. And it's that way every day and you act like you have no fucking idea what's happening. We don't even know what to say. You get caught planning it, and you'll do it anyway. And then you want me to lie. About what? I said it before. I didn't say it after. I said it beforehand. You're just not all there. You're, like, not right in the head or something, right? So I'm going to do the disclaimer. Uh, use allegedly. Apply the but for and reasonable prudent individual standard, and we apply, assert all constitutional rights. It's, you're a misogynist pig, and this is gender discrimination. You want to win an election? Go fucking win an election. Go shake hands and kiss babies and go see your constituents and get the fuck out of my life. And then you'll win an election. That's how you win elections, not destroying and ruining and robbing. And the more you guys do to me, the more everybody hates your guts. Everybody wants you gone. 
I won't have any more money problems when you're gone. I won't ever be broke again. So what do you think we all want? What do you think we all want? Can you put it together in your head? Rub muffin man. You know, we got your code words because you took my house. Muffin man. I guess we're not going to get Rapunzel to let down her hair. We've been trying to get her to that club. We paid a whole bunch of people to go out there. We trained them. Only to have her not go. I heard that recording. Who has the recording, sir? The other thing we got from you taking my house. After you threatened it and threatened it and threatened it and threatened it. And you recorded and recorded and recorded and recorded. You know, what? what who do you think you are? Slavery ended at the Civil War. If you like slavery, move to Iraq. You want me to wear a burqa? I, I mean, who are you people to me? There's a bunch of you that work with him. Who the fuck are you people to me? I don't know you. I don't have a fucking thing to do with you. I didn't pick a fight with you. Why are you picking one with me? Every time you cause a problem for me, that's what you're doing. You're, you're picking a fight. It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. You act like this bitch. What does he say? I don't care what you want. I'm going to force myself on you against your will anyway. Like a rapist. Like some crazed rapist. I don't like you, Mr. Perry. Didn't invite you up here. I came here to be with my family, get away from you, and not have a fight. You come up here, and you make one problem after another problem after another one. More trouble, more conflict, more strife, more devastation, more loss, more hardship. More ruin, and you're more and more hated and more hated. You, I hear you wanted my family to do a fucking intervention. You know, I haven't seen my family since 2019. They don't know how I'm doing. I don't call them up and say, oh, uh, here's how I'm doing. Because what happened is you're telling them what you're doing. And then when I found out about it, you kept asking me if they were your leaks. You have leaks. We don't have leaks. You have them. We can get information. You can't get it. You don't know who has the actual recordings. You don't know who has them. You've put money out there on the table. Nobody's taking it, is, are they? We found out you wanted to buy them so you could destroy them. That's destroying of, ev of evidence. And that's kind of your thing. Perjury, concealment of ma material facts that would change the outcome. Lie after lie after lie after lie. And nobody believes the words you say now. It's stacking up and stacking up and stacking up and stacking up. And people are not stupid. It's funny that you think they are. I mean, what do you want me to lie about? I knew Mike was drugged. And then it was confirmed on the docket. Six months later, five months later. So what do you want me to lie about? That I knew he was drugged? Or that it was confirmed? That I kept saying you're witness tampering. You're trying to coerce me with money. If I do what you think... If I do... If, if I do things you think I'm doing what you want, then I get money. If you think I'm not doing what you want... Or you want to starve me into a lie and all that bullshit. All of a sudden I'm broke. Interference with interstate commerce and contracts with intent to coerce. Grand larceny with intent to coerce. We've said it over and over and over and over. And it is criminal activity. It's RICO Act violations. You can't witness tamper. That's kind of your thing. You organize crime. You're a creepy little fuck. You know that? You don't have anybody with you for 12 years. You're alone. You're all by yourself. You're, you're, you're fucking pretending. You don't have a fucking thing real. Women don't like assholes. Women don't like being abused. We don't like being watched in our house. You're fucking turn off. You're a fucking turn off. You have zero chance of a date with me. You make me more angry by the day that you act like this bitch. No, zero minutes. I don't want to ever talk to you. I don't want to hear your voice. You. And you're like him. You never shut up. You never fucking shut up. Didn't ask you what you think, Connie Curry. You're a nosy body. I mean, you're like a little old lady. The little old lady, you know, that uses noses around and doesn't have a life. Goes and butts into everybody else's business. You guys were recorded today talking about my bank account again. How much money does she have? Is she going to go work? Can I get somebody to order at Cracker Barrel? Why Cracker Barrel? You got a hook up there? You got a hook up at Cracker Barrel? Why didn't you get out of my phone? 
Why don't you quit hacking me? Why don't you quit making problems? And then every time you do, every fucking day, you get told on and told on and told on and told on. And we're stacking it up and we're stacking it up and we're stacking it up. Nobody has your code words, but we got them. We've never, your guy, we've never had one of our victims figure out we had cameras in their house and we're causing their problems and then ask for our payment because we're using her body for entertainment. And, uh, and then sue us and then figure out a murder we committed to cover it all up. The murder of Chief Miller. Guess what? His family deserves his legacy. He put the work in. He was killed in the line of duty trying to keep you off me. Didn't he? He was going to get your ass, wasn't he? Who'd they tell? Who did Mike Neely and Chief Miller tell that they were going to get your ass? Somebody. Did they tell? Who'd they tell? Who did they tell? Because Lucky would be alive and Mike would be here home. They'd be doing the same things they do. You know, protecting and serving as policemen. Enforcing the law. Had they not said it to the wrong person, we're going to get his ass. I just filed a vandalism report six days before that murder. They were talking about Jeff Epstein like an hour or two before the murder. What are the chances? Oh my God, nobody will suspect a thing. You can't beat somebody to death if, you have, if you're drugged and unconscious and in respiratory distress and dying. And you sure shit can't do it and end up with a not a mark on you. The arrest report says no injuries. None. He had a red swollen right hand, and in that right hand was an IV needle, causing it to be red and swollen. His hands do not look anything like Chief Miller's face, and Ms. Chief Miller was beat so bad, his head went back and forth and back and forth until his head came off. And to punish me for figuring that out, you want to starve me into a lie. And you are. So what is it I'm supposed to fucking lie about? You sick little twisted bitch. You are pathetic. You are pathetic. I'm raised in four generations of police. That's family to me. That man died trying to keep me safe from you. And you have dishonored his badge. And you dishonored his work. And Mike Neely does not need to be in jail for what you did. And you are hated. And so when we get your code words and you want to starve me into a lie so I can go, what, I told you so? I did say. I kept telling everybody that's what he's doing. It's all illegal, but he's doing it anyway. He's caught more than ever in his life and he's doing it anyway. He's pathetic and rejected and told on and he's going to keep doing that. I, I, what planet are you on? You have no idea what I'm saying, do you? You don't even know. We, we we think that your mind is so far gone that when people are talking to you, you have no idea what the fuck they're saying. When you have cognitive reasoning skills, and all police would know this, they're taught this, they're tested. Before you're hired, you have to take a fucking test to see if you can put things together in your head. Like, if you do X, then Y happens. If maybe you, if you don't like Y, then don't do X. If you don't like getting burned, don't touch the fucking stove. Logic, reasoning, and you don't have any cause and effect. It's just not there for you. Are we talking above your head, sir, or what? What's your problem? You're doing every fucking thing I say. All of it's illegal. And everybody hates you for it. You wanted my family to run an intervention and tell me what? What do you want, what do you want them to say to me, Mr. Perry? You are caught on that, by the way. I've never introduced you to my family. How do you know them? The allegation, sir, do you understand what I'm saying to you? The allegation, sir, is that you're a stalker. You're a stalker. Your attention isn't wanted. Stalking's a felony in Oklahoma. It is a felony crime in Oklahoma. It's a, it's a crime in all 50 states. That means people don't like it when you act like this, bitch. Please, God bless you. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Stop following me. You won't call the cops. Stop. I don't. Stop stalking me. Please. I can't live here anymore.
Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even when they're not. Unless one is keeping you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay, it's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. You need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. Oh, that's okay. Don't leave me alone. You want. I don't want proof of this. Please that's leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes. And I'll leave you oh, my God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. How do you dress like this? What? what are, you, are you a prostitute? I'm serious. Sir, what? please what leave. That's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. All you want. How make you feel? Huh? You're filming my father and my fucking sister. How does this make oh, you feel? Oh, the one that put all those scratches on your arm? You want to see the Scratches? Pictures? You want, I'll I got scratches. Show, I can show you the pictures right now. No, I want you to leave my family fucking alone. Keep hanging oh, outside of there. The road. Dude, I promise you, they're gonna get yours and you're gonna I don't give a fuck. Yours. You can bring whoever the fuck you want. That's okay. You're gonna you bring the whole fucking army. I don't give a fuck. How does this make you feel? Huh? You're filming my father. Leave me alone. alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to summon this woman's time just because he said let me talk to you for two minutes doesn't matter if it's two minutes five minutes 20 minutes if she said no no means no rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk. You should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex. It's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting. Dude. Leave me alone! He said it's disgusting because the rest of the world sees it as disgusting. You have been alone for 12 years. Nobody's trying to hold your hand. Nobody's trying to see you. You're getting kicked off and kicked off and screamed at and hit and kicked off and screamed at and hit. And I'm said, leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me and my family the hell alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Get a life. So what is it you want me to lie about? You threatened to starve me into a lie. So you're trying to starve me into a lie. You threatened my car. It's been wrecked five times in three years. The tires have been flattened. The oil's been drained out twice. Tail lights have been taken out. So what is wrong with you, sir? Do you think you're hot? You, what is it you want me to lie about? You are fucked up. You're fucked up. And you got everybody mad today. You want, what is, what, you know, what did you think my family was going to say to me? Oh, we haven't seen you in three years or talked to you in three years. We don't even know how the fuck you're doing. But we're supposed to come over here and talk you into doing whatever this criminal over here that's trying to kill you, kill Chief Miller, and framed Mike, do what he says. Is that what you want them to say? Golly. What in the hell's wrong with you? You know Nicole, Nicole Simpson who died, her, her husband, OJ, slashed her, about took her, her head off her body, slashed her on the throat and killed another guy that was trying to help her, Ron Goldman. He did the same thing, exactly. Went to her family. Only she introduced him. I didn't introduce him to my family. I would never bring you around my family. What were you doing around them? What the fuck is wrong with you? You sick little fuck. You stay away from my family and me. Stay the hell away from them. We, you, we need you in our lives like a, we need a hole in the head. You, you know, everybody's sick and tired of you taking my money. I don't know how many different ways I need to say that. You and David. So what is it? Today I hear you guys, oh, we, we, we want to get her fired from, from uh, DoorDash. And we're having uh, people order and then complain. So she gets fired. And we made a deal with Uber Eats so they won't, give her, they won't give her work either. 
We've already signed the contract. I heard it. What do you want me to lie about? Stay out of my wallet, David. You're, you're in the biggest trouble for that. We flat told you we're watching Terry Wagner very carefully. Very, very carefully. If he comes in that club and he get he buys VIPs or whatever from me on just consistently, there's there's nothing to there's no there's no crime. If he's withholding or giving more, depending on whether or not you think I'm doing what you want, then that's coercion and he's the conduit and we gotcha. And you guys acted like you didn't understand what those words mean and you did it anyway. And we gotcha. So now you're using, are you using my ex-husband? Here's the thing with my ex-husband. I'm going to tell you this. You guys get into my personal business and I didn't even know what to say. I told you to stay away from my family. Do, you know, and then you ask, is your family leaking? Uh, stop talking to my family. Nobody introduced you. I didn't take you around them. Why would I do that? So um, what, what are you doing that for, creepy? So uh, we, we have... Uh, you know, I, I have a relative. I'm not going to say who, but the part, this, this relative ha, ha, had a wife that treated him really shitty and just left. And I, th this is not a situation in which, at this point, he would ever help her. That's not what happened in my marriage. It's not even close. I didn't have an affair. There was no affair. My ex-husband did something that I would not allow in my home, and we got a divorce. We're still friends now. And uh, I raised his son under great duress. My son and I have been stalked since 2010. We're still being stalked, both of us. Whatever problem you can think of, you try to cause it. That's why you're getting told on a lot, Mr. Perry. I have help. I have help. You don't, can't find out who it is. You've called every PD around, haven't you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? And you can't fit. Nobody will tell you anything. We don't have leaks, sir. We don't slip up, sir. There's a re you know, I don't even, I'm, I'm, sometimes I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even know what to fucking say. And with a, with, a, with a mental veggie I'm dealing with here, it feels like I might as well go tell a wall. The wall is going to understand what I'm saying as much as you. That you got something wrong with you and you just fucking can't understand what people say. It's very frustrating to have to deal with somebody like that. That doesn't understand what the hell you're saying. You know, and, and I have to say the same thing over and over and over and over. Alzheimer's or something. You've already been caught on that. You've already been caught on that. Why are you still doing it? And then asking me, you know, you get all mad and you want to know who the leaks are. And here's the thing. I said, don't contact me at all. What part of that is difficult for you to get? This is America, sir. It's not Iraq. You don't have the right to rape me every day. You don't. You need to move to Iraq. If that's your thing, move the fuck to Iraq. You don't have the right to rape me every day and cause a problem for me every day and violate the RICO Act every day. Those laws are there in this country so we're protected from bitches like you. Nothing more pathetic than a bitch who can't move on. Get the hell off me, you sick rapist. Get the fuck off me. So whatever communications you had with my ex-husband... Whatever you told him to say, it got weird. You know, it's not his normal thing that he says. And I, you know, I can tell with my relatives, including my ex-husband, are saying things that don't sound like what they say. They sound like what you say. Weird shit. Weird shit. Or nosy body. And I said, uh, one, one of the cops helping me heard it. And he goes, oh my God, I can't, I mean, and this has happened more than once. He was very upset with you. And he said, I'm going to tell you something. I have an ex-wife who raised my kids. They're grown now. If she needs help, I help her. I can't imagine not helping her. I have a new wife that wouldn't have it any other way. That was one thing that attracted her to me is because I'm good to people in my family. I'm good to them and I treat them right. And she said, I watch people, how they treat their family. And if they don't treat them right, I bail, I bail. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that can't treat their own family right. So I won't date them. That's what made her fall in love with them. And you know what? I, 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 would, I would see guys come into uh, our club and talk about their divorce. That's a place where they can kind of vent. 
and I paid very close attention to the men who who who, who berated the ex-wife and said you know said horrible things about her, or the ones that seemed like they were still a little too much in love, or the ones that seemed like they had just a normal, healthy friendship, co-parenting thing with their spouse. I respected that. I respected it a lot. That means that individual is a mature, fair-minded, uh, you know, normal dude that I would want it, you know, that I would be interested in friends with or whatever it ends up being. But I'm not going to date somebody that sits around and badmouths their wife, their ex-wife, and I'm not going to sit there and listen to how he's still in love with her either. So, and, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, in a strip club, it's just a strip club. But, you know, you get these guys that would ask you out. And so if I'm thinking about it, if I'm thinking about it, maybe I'd go out with this guy. Um, I'm in there, and they start berating the ex-wife up. That's, okay, well, I guess not. Or they act like they're still in love and haven't quite gotten over that yet. Okay, I guess not. But if there's a guy that's talking about the ex-wife with respect and dignity, and I love the way she takes, takes good care of my children and did a great job raising my kids, and, uh, you know, we're, we're still friends and we, you know, whatever. We take good, you know, we go, we go and do. My ex-husband never one time had to fight with me to be able to see his son. Not once. We didn't even go by the divorce decree. You want to see him? Come get him. We had a very, very good relationship that way. That we didn't use our kid as a pawn. You know, I'm mad at you today, so you can't see the kid. We didn't do that. We never did that. It, I, I, you know, so I, what I'm asking you to do is to butt out of that shit. And now we're watching that. When it, oh, we spoke a little too soon. Did, you know, what, what in the fuck is it of your business, David? You know, yeah. There's a, there is a, uh, if I needed something and he wants to help me, then that's fine. It's not your concern, is it? And then all of a sudden, it you know, you guys get recorded talking about, oh, we're, we're going to get our plane ticket. And have her call Ernest and tell, tell him he bought the ticket. And Charles bought the ticket. And then uh, get her a cab. We're going to tow her car. She's going to see it's at the end of the rope. She's going to finally, finally have to lie, lie for us. I, about what? You're doing exactly what I say. That I knew about it beforehand. What is it you wanted me to lie about? What is it you wanted my family to, to you wanted my family to say to me? Huh? I mean, you you're off your nut. You keep doing the same thing we're saying. And I say it beforehand. I always pretty much always say it beforehand. Here's what he's trying to do. Here's what he was recorded talking about doing. Here's what he's threatening me with. I'm gonna starve you into a lie. You would, if I'm if I'm already lying, you don't need to do that, do you? Mike Neely was drugged. That was confirmed months later in the deposition, over and over and over. All the first responders, we gave him Narcan, he was drugged. So what is it you wanted me to lie about? That I knew beforehand? Because you did it. Our guys went and checked. The timing of that murder was a little fishy for us. So he they went over there and looked, Mr. Perry. You start to cause me money problems, boy, they start digging. You start causing conflicts for me, boy, they start digging. What's going on? What's he up to if they don't get it before? And nobody's gotten as much as we have. Muffin Man, your little daycare code words. Muffin Man and, and Rumpelstiltskin and Hansel and Gretel and all your little creepy weird. We're Weeble Wobbles. We wobble, but we don't fall down. Bullshit. We're invincible. Not this time. Because this time I'm quoting you. I'm quoting you, fucks, when you're sitting there planning a crime. Over and almost pretty much every day since the McNamara email. When he pesters her and takes her money, things don't go well for us. We're seeing things happen we've never seen before. And yet you go right back at it like a dog to his vomit. And we're all going, ew. Oh my God. Ew. And you do it day after day after day. And everybody hates your guts for the problems you're making. And so when you have somebody coming in going, um, we're stopping that. We're going to fucking stop that. And then you won't have to deal with these problems anymore. You won't be threatened. You won't feel afraid. You won't feel sick at your stomach. The hair on the back of your neck won't stand on end every time that bitch walks in the room anymore. It's over. You're free. You're safe. What do you think is going to happen? So what is it the fuck you want me to lie about? Huh? I don't do that. I, that's not who I am. That goes against all of my DNA. And if you knew me at all, you'd know, if you knew me at all, you would know that. She'll starve, but she's not going to lie. And that's happened more than once. It's happened more than once. So you guys hired somebody, 
and people that go out to that club and you're trying to make it where my DoorDash or Uber Eats and whatever. I already have signed up for Uber Eats. So what this contract entails, I don't know. But we now know that you had just made a deal with Uber Eats and a contract to co to interfere with my income. Right? Now we know. You were recorded talking about it. You were recorded talking about it. The other thing we do, and I've said this before, this is a repeat. Uh, let me finish what my friend said. He goes, let me tell you something. If my ex-wife who raised my kids, they're good kids. And she, so if she needs help, I'm going to I'm gonna come in there and help her. And I'm not going to ask weird things of her. I mean, or, 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 or put pressure on her or anything like that. Um, that's just not who I am. That's not the way you do your family. If your family needs something, you step up and you help your family. And that's all there is to it. And my ex-wife wouldn't have it any other way. That's why. She, that's what she... A lot of women look for that in men. How does they, how's that guy treat his family? Because if he can't treat his family right, he's sure shit not going to treat me right. And I'm not going to be in a miserable relationship. So, when you start fucking with my family... Keep that in mind. And I didn't have a divorce, uh, an affair. I didn't leave him. My ex-husband did something uh, I shouldn't have done. And that's nobody's business. There was some. That, that's all there is to it. It just doesn't matter to you. It's not your business. Anyone else, if your wife had an affair and left you, then I can see why you wouldn't help. It's, that's your thing. That's your deal. It's not my deal. So what I'm asking you to do is to keep in mind when you continue to fuck with me and things don't go well for you, and I find out you got hired people. Oh, we hired people to go out to that club, and she's not going to go. We've tried to fuck up everything else she's tried to do. We want her out that club. I don't want to go to the club. I don't want to go. It's not up to you. I don't even know half you people. Never met you in my life. Sitting here trying to make decisions. You want me in New Mexico? Why do you want me in New Mexico? I guess I, it, it sounds like one minute you don't want me in New Mexico, then you do want me in New Mexico. Then, you, you know, what is wrong with you? Get out of my life. If I'm quoting you, do you really think it's up to you? If I'm quoting you, sir, who's the muffin man? Muffin man's not going to like that. If we know beforehand what you're doing, do you really think it's up to you? What'd I say? Get out of my life. Get the fuck out of it. You're a stalker. You're a rapist. And you're getting caught when you do it to me. You're getting caught when you do it to me. What part of that don't you get? Winnie pesters her and takes her money. Things don't go well for us. We're seeing things happen we've not seen before. So let's do it more, Charles says. He's not all there. Well, let's just do it again. Let's do it more, guys. Everybody, hey, everybody, let's do it more. Do you have a little meeting with my family and tell them what they're supposed to say to me? My family is not like you. They're nothing like you. I would never, I have never introduced you to them. I never would. You're doing exactly what O.J. Simpson did. Right before he murdered Nicole. Right before he killed her. You tried to kill me two and three times. Do they know that? They haven't heard the recordings I've heard. What do you want me to lie about? You're doing exactly what I say. Starving me into a lie. Golly, I... Oh, no. You see that shit right there? When I get 20 of those and 5 I can actually do, which is very unusual. That's not normally how that works. You're causing a problem for me. And you pissed us, our guys off. So when we quote you, understand, you provoked them. They start digging. Why is that happening? They are in my phone too, Mr. Bitch. They sit there and watch everything you do. Every fucking thing you do. You cause a problem for me. They'll cause 20 for you. They're fighting your crime. That's what they do. You can count on it. You can take it to Vegas and count on it, Muffin Man. Every fucking time you cause problems for me, they're going to cause 20 for you. And we found out you're looking for the recordings and you've offered money because you want to destroy them. And you didn't get the all. You didn't get an offer, did you? So when we get the information from you, you wanted my family to do an intervention. How do you even know my family? Do remember the allegations are stalking. The allegations are stalking. I moved twice to get away from you, didn't I? I moved twice, sir, to get away from you. To not have a conflict, to not be a scandal, no problems, no drama, no soap opera. 
and you came here and you caused one problem after another problem after another problem after another problem and everybody hates your guts because you're doing that to me and so when we're quoting you it's not up to you they don't ask your commission your permission can we get that information from you and give it to her do they Every time you try to pull me over, every time you fuck with my car, every time you try to take my money and starve me into a lie. Um, what am I supposed to lie about? When we found out Michael Neely was drugged, he's a cop. I come from four generations of cops. What in the hell did you do that for? What in the hell? She got four, four court proceedings now. They won't let her in. So, they're, you know, uh, what's the harm in letting her in to show evidence she doesn't have, David? Huh? We asked you to leave me alone. I don't know you. I didn't come up here to pick a fight with you. Every time you cause me a problem, you're picking one with me. You're picking one with me. So don't complain about it when you get quoted. You asked for it. Yeah, you asked for it. I mean, we've not. I've not been unclear. I've been very, very clear. I don't know you. Didn't come up here to pick a fight with you. I came here to get away from one. Mr. Mrs. Prissy Pants, you know, can't get over it and move on like a dude. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. He's, he makes my skin crawl. There's nothing there. I don't think, we don't even think there's anything there for him. We think that's bullo to shit. Because if you want to attract people, a woman, you do things that, that women like. Being a peeping Tom isn't that. Causing money problems isn't it. That, that, I'm threatening people. That's not how you attract a woman. That's how you make a woman want to hit you. Matt, Matt, Matt. It's not meant literally, Matt. It's an expression. Mr. Powell, that's not to be taken literally, sir. That's an expression, okay? Don't get all, you know, hire him an entourage. That's, that's not a threat. <coughs> so I guess you guys were just recorded talking about my status of my bank account. Is she going to go work tonight? We're going to have somebody. Can we have somebody call in at Cracker Barrel? Do you have a hookup at Cracker Barrel? Do I have to nix off another restaurant? Huh? So, when I get stuff like this all night, or, or a restaurant I won't go to, because now we've heard you talking about, you got a hookup there. Um, what, you know, I can't make any really, I can't really make any money, can I? And then you're trying to starve me into a lie. So what am I supposed to lie about? But he's doing exactly what I said. Look at my bank account. My guys find, see my bank account too. They're going to they're gonna start digging into what you're doing. Is that what you wanted? Seems like it is. See, you do the same things every day that get you two things. Rejected and told on. Re it, since the McNamara email, every fucking day. Rejected and told on. So if you like women, you do what women like. And you do everything I hate. You do everything women are disgusted with. And so you're not trying to get a date. And you know that when you fuck with me, you get caught every time. Every day since the McNamara email. And so, but you do it anyway. So you don't even want to cover up. So what is it you're after? Just the thrill of fucking with people and making everybody mad at you? It seems like that's it. Why would you do the same thing every day if you don't like your results? If you don't like X, I mean, if you do X and Y happens and you don't like Y, why do you keep doing Y? It's not hard. It's simple logic. Do you not have any cognitive reasoning skills, any of you? Because it's like you don't. It seems like you have no, no idea what the fuck I'm saying. When, when we catch you, you're caught. You want to make this not work, so I'll go back out to the club. You hired a bunch of people out there. I can't hire a bunch of people and keep paying them if she's not going to go. Right? Did you just say that? Why would I go back? Why would I go dance? Why do you want me? Why is it, what, what's it to you, stalker? The allegations are stalking. Does everybody remember that the allegations are stalking? What you do and what we get to support that claim, it's like been so easy, it's not even fair. I, I don't know what to tell you. Look at this. Five times my car's wrecked. Five. In three years. After this. August 23rd, 2019. It's not legit, but I'm going to have a car untold, towed and sold before she figures that out. And then what's she going to do? She'll be, she won't be able to work. Right? And then you had it wrecked. Well, you've had it wrecked a whole, like... There's uh, there's this. After you threw the brick at me on the freeway. Right at the wheel. Only time I called cops to change the tire. And then it, and then it was this. 
Yup. And then it was this. That's not fishy. That's not fishy at all. We're all do you know, we're all doofus. We can't figure out that you did that on purpose. You know, if you if you believe that he didn't do that, please call me. I have oceanfront property for sale in Arizona. If you're that stupid. This is when he had the brick thrown at me. I've cracked my engine into. That's my transmission. Cracked it in two. What if that was my skull? This is um uh, the last one. Rear ended a guy bumper at the side of my car i don't know how you do that but magically i'm mr perry thinks me and mike neely have alien dust from roswell like i got it on me from living in roswell and sprinkled some on him and he magically with his ass to, uh, to you know beat chief miller to, to 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 death causing internal decapitation blunt force trauma to the head while drugged and unconscious wow okay only guy in the history of man has done that so and the and you threaten my home and then you tried to do it, and then there was COVID. So then after COVID moratorium lifted, you did it again. You tried again, and you did it successfully. And then I'm like, well, I told you so. Because he wants to starve me into a lie. They want to they wanna make me homeless. And then, I, then he, th he thinks I'll, I'll get so desperate, I'll call him and go, okay, I'll lie for you now. Yeah, and t about what? Oops. I, about what, sir? What did you want me to lie about? I just liked that. <laughs> this is what I'm telling uh, the U.S. attorney in August. Two cops uh, approached me and said he wants us to just find a way to false arrest you in August 2015. We told him no. That's not why we signed up to be police. So, but we're in here to tell you because he might find one that will take his money. $25 million didn't cover up shit, did it? No. Is that why you want to run me out of Oklahoma? Nobody asked you what you think. And if I'm getting, if I'm quoting you, sir, do you really think it's up to you? Because I'm thinking it's not. I think in what you're doing is just making everybody really mad at you. You too, David. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many, do, how many days, how many times do I need to quote you before you take the fucking blow off hint? Everybody's very, very tired of this. They're tired of watching me suffer. Everybody's really tired of it. And everybody else feeling threatened. Did you slip up? Was it you? Did you leak? And then you're going to do what to them if you think they did? See, I mean, what, uh, pff, why do you think it's up to you? Why, why do you fucking think that? Charles, I don't want to hear anything from you at all. I don't care what you think. I really am tired of you trying to get, communicate with me. No one cares what you think. Why do you think they do? Why do you think I care what you think? Did I ask you? I don't think I did. I think I said, leave me alone. Didn't I? I think I said, leave me the fuck alone. Get the hell out of my life. Get the fuck out of my life. I don't want your buy a lie money. You owe a legitimate debt. Pay that and get out. Get the fuck out. Get Michael home. Make amends and get gone. When you're gone, the troublemaking is gone. The problems are gone. The hardship's gone. The suffering's gone. We can have finally have a normal day and it not be one problem after another problem after another that we all got to drop everything we're doing and fix. Perry's here making trouble again. He's a troublemaker. That's your life. That is who you are. That is your legacy. And you know what? You don't get to rob Lucky of his. You really don't. I'm, I'm gonna, I've spoken out for that and spoken out for that to my own detriment because I care about that family. I care about his kids. I care about what they know about their dad. Right now, they think their dad died in a drunken brawl. And guess what? Their dad didn't. Their dad died trying to protect my life. He was going to get your ass and you didn't like that died in the line of duty and Mike Neely isn't a murderer we care about his kid what's his kid going through I know what my kid went through when you did it to me you poison us when we don't die you do a false arrest that's your MO that's your way and you get caught when you do this shit to me what if what if nobody digged dug, you know, dug into Mike's case what if nobody looked at his arrest report the thing is I did look at it I read his cover, his case cover to cover for for me that's cop family that's my family i don't know him he came and i talked 30 minutes to him while while he's taking my police report i talked li less than a second to him when he came to the strip club with with lucky and lucky said uh, i got a marriage license here it looks like it's not your signature i think it's forged did you sign it well fuck no why would i do that chief miller why the hell would i do that where's the wedding pictures there's not any because there was no such thing he's it's a forgery it's not real. And if anybody tells you 
Uh, we have this secret marriage, and here's the paperwork to prove it, but don't talk to her about it. Then the chances are high it's not legit, or he wouldn't care if you talk to me about it. Give me your copy of it and watch him shit himself. It's bullshit. I didn't sign anything like that. He's that far off the rails. He would go, take it that far. And I, one day I was talking to my son, and uh, he saw this. I'm talking to my son, and he sees that, and he goes, why do you still have that? What in the world is wrong with you that you would even ask me, why do I still have that? Well, why are you, what's, what's going on still with Fabia? Why is that still a thing? Um, wow, okay, why would it not be a thing? What changed that I'm, I didn't get the memo. Something changed. So, let me go into, I'm going to go into some detail here about me and Fabian. Fabian was my manager at Jaguars. I had a friend that sent me a private Facebook message asking, how you doing? Are you dating anybody? And I said, no, I'm not, but I like this Fabian guy. So, at the time, I had just left Lubbock because, uh, well, I wanted to leave Lubbock to get away from Perry. I stayed longer than I had initially planned. Because of the man I was dating at the time. Asked me to stay. We talked about moving somewhere else. We talked about a lot of things. A lot of options. We could do that. It's a free fucking country. All of a sudden, he gets cancer. This guy was a lot older than me. It died for some reason. I, I mean, I, this man was the way I felt God in my life. I've never met a kinder man in my life. I've never met somebody that, that, uh, got, that, like, he really, uh, I could just... I called him when I was upset. I called him when I was happy. I called him about everything. I, I bonded with him. And um, then he, uh, all of a sudden, one day, he, he's like doing things that didn't make sense. So we, I'm like, you have to go to the doctor. Well, he had been in Tahlequah. He had actually had a ranch in Tahlequah. And um, fell down and hit his head and broke his arm. So he starts doing things that don't make sense. And I'm like, you have to, you have to get your head checked. Something's wrong. He would... He would get lost driving to my house. Um, he would forget things and, and, and things that normally he didn't do. He's a very sharp man. He's a very, very wealthy business owner. Um, farmer, owned uh, rental houses. He was a very, you know, very smart man. So for him to do things like that was out of character for him. So I said, you have to go to the doctor. Well, he goes to the doctor. Turns out he has nine brain tumors, nine of them, and um, died sh within nine weeks. Um, as it turns out, he died just suddenly like that, and it and it killed me. I thought I was going to die too. It hurt me that much. I, Dennis had to tell me, like, after about two, three weeks after he died, we're moving, we're leaving. Because the only, only thing keeping me there was him. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I hate this town. I'm, i I got to get out of here. And he talked about moving somewhere with me. We talked about a lot of different things. But um, for, that, for, the, for then, he said, right now, I need you to stay here with me. And, um, and um, um, you know, please just stay here with me. So I did, but the second he died, we were out of there. So um, that that was very hard for me to to handle. Uh, you know, it was very sad. I mean, I handle it. You do. You you you. When someone dies that you love, you get sad. That's normal. You're abnormal if you don't. And uh, and then you move on. You have to. You, it's part of life. Life is life is that. So he dies and died. I was very sad for a couple of weeks. And I just. Dennis was like, Mom, I, I, I'm, I know you're sad about your friend dying, but I need you to stop crying. Um, I need you to be here for me. So uh, he kind of snapped me out of it um, where I had to, like, you know, quit crying. With I would go pick him up from school crying. I'd pick, I'd take him to school crying. I'd, it was bad. It was just, it hurt me. So anyways, and I was feeling kind of down from that when I met Fabian. Fabian made me hope. So I've told my friend that, uh, and... Uh, and um, the next uh, night, I went, I went into work, and I could tell by the look on his face that Charles had butted in and called, and, and there was a conversation that should never have happened. And um, that hurt me, too. I, I could tell by the look on his face. Um, he, he, he looked very hurt and very angry. And I was like, oh, my God, this is, this is not good. So um, Fabian and I had a talk after that. I'm not going to divulge what Fabian and I talked about. It's really nobody's business. Sometimes, um, this, in my opinion, has yet to be completely defined. Because he and I, Fabian and I, didn't get the chance to make that choice for ourselves. 
So never speak again. We're friends forever, BFFs forever, or we're madly in love forever, or madly in love for a month, and then never again. I mean, the thing is, it was our decision to make, which we never got to make, because Bud in here, selfish, made it for us. And uh, for that, I'll never forgive you. Uh, there's a lot of things I'll never forgive you for. But this thing right here is between me and Fabian, isn't it? It doesn't involve or concern anybody else, does it? Um, Mr. Robertson came in when he first introduced himself as uh, Mr. Perry's hitman. I'm going to put you in the lake if you won't recant your claims and lie. I know you've got court testimony on the docket, on the record, but I want, I'm going to kill you if you don't lie and change your story. Now it's starve me. Now they want to starve me if I don't change my story. So um, that's coercion, bitch. It's fucking, you know, coercion. And I guess everybody else goes, okay, uh, not me. I, I mean, you got you, you act like you've not met me. Um, and I think Lynn told you she's very hard-headed and he's not wrong. He's not fucking wrong at all. There's a reason I was picked for this, sir. There's a reason I was chosen for this, sir. My personality, my background and having been raised in law enforcement, my background having been... How do you know I'm not a sting-up specialist? I mean, you, you don't know what I am yet. I haven't said. So, um... You know I can sting... Uh, you know I can sting up anybody in, in my sleep and do it and get... I can get people to say shit they didn't mean to say. So, um... And, uh, you know... They most of the time don't know they said it until after um, we're done. After after the fact. And I'm like, well, I got this and this out of that guy. And uh, he didn't realize he gave that up, did he? So... Some, I, I suck at everything, but not that. So, um, I mean, I, I literally suck at pretty much everything but that. So this is, um, somebody got this to me in jail. Not some random time in my life, not b the year before, the year after, but right then, right there, and, and it meant a lot to me. And that, that would have to be somebody that is intimate knowledge of me, right? And a lot of power to get that to me right in jail, and they didn't call you and ask your permission. It wasn't up to you, was it? What's up to you? Nobody called and asked you, did they? It's not up to you. So Fabian and I didn't get to decide. We're going to. But David comes in and he says, why don't you like Charles? And I'm like, he's a fucking asshole. He's a weirdo. He's a fucking weirdo. You're here. Um, there's nothing to like. There's nothing to want. And he said, uh, and I said, and, and that whole Fabian thing, you know, him butting into that. It's my call who I like and who I choose to be with. That's my choice. That's how relationships work. You choose somebody you like, and they like you back. And if they don't like you back, you move on and you find somebody else. There's a lot of fish in the sea. There's another bus coming. Get the, you know, get the next one. It, it, that's life. That's how we all see it. Why can't you? Why can't you keep up with the rest of us? You know, why are you, why are you mental slow and socially and emotionally inept? Why are you bothering us with that? We don't want to deal with it. That's for your family to fuck with. I don't want to ha I don't want to deal with it. You're forcing it on me and I don't want to deal with it. I left. I moved. I'm you're nothing to me. Nothing. You have a wife, Jacqueline. Where's she when you bother me? Where's Jacqueline you when you fuck with me? We hear I I've heard I've heard you won't they can't get you to leave Oklahoma. Why why can't Jacqueline? That's your wife. Where's what about Matthew and Jordan? So I'm like the whole Fabian thing. And, and he goes, Fabian doesn't want you. And I said, well, Fabian can tell me that. I've not heard. You guys act like you think you're everybody else's spokesperson. And that's not how that works either. Fabian speaks for Fabian. Cynthia speaks for Cynthia. Okay? That's how that works. We don't need your help. We're grown-ass people. Nobody speaks for us but us. And he goes, uh, well, uh, um, what did he say? Oh, actually, he just wants to fuck you. And I go, okay, so let us fuck and be done with it. Why are you dragging this out? And then he goes, actually, he and Charles fought over you for months. And I go, there's no fight. Th those two are not to fight. It's my choice who I want in my life and who I don't want in my life. I don't want Charles in it. That's why I just tried to get a protective order. And you're sitting here threatening me with death if I don't change my story. And that's bullshit. Witness tampering, victim tampering, whatever you call it. Here we go again with your RICO Act. Rico Act. You guys got to get attorneys that can read the law. I'm not a lawyer, but you know, you, you, you know, it's kind of it's kind of been noticed 
that five attorneys were too scared to go into a courtroom with me and do it normal, the normal way? You got to do these backroom deals? Hey, yeah, that's not really a very impressive work, work product there, guys. So, um, it's the burden of proof is on me. I have to be in the court to prove my case, right? And three times you don't let me in court. Mr. Perry's motion to dismiss was denied the one time I was in. So after that, never again. And don't God, God knows, don't let her in to help Mike Neely and talk to, talk, talk to the jury about what she knows about that. Concealment of a material fact that would have changed the outcome had I testified. He'd be home, and you know that. Change your story and lie for us, or we'll starve you to death. And I've starved many a meal. I've missed many a meal. I don't have a home right now. Thanks for that. So the thing that is in the Bible that I've said it over and over and over, a man's kindness brings blessings and his cruelty will be his downfall. Every time you cause a problem for me, my guys cause 20 for you. It's law enforcement. You're a criminal. That's what they do. They tend to fuck up your crime. And you're seeing things happen you've not seen before. And you act like you don't know what those words mean. And we're all confused. Why do you, why, why would you know, why won't you, how can you not with the, know what those words mean? It's not hard. You don't have to be Stephen Hawkins. It's not, you know, eh, Jesus, I can't, I'm out of energy from trying to talk to people who are stupid. What does that say? I don't want to be a scandal. I don't want to fuss. That was after you, that was after you butt into me. That was after that night I walked in and saw the look on his face. It hurt me. It hurt me to see him hurt. Wasn't your place, sir. It's my decision who I want to be with. It's my decision whom I find attractive. I don't find you attractive. I think you're a monster. You don't force yourself on women. You go find one that likes you. You got a wife named Jackie. Where's she when you bother other women? This, you carried out a threat. When you carried out that threat is when I got that puzzle. Fabian's name is on it. It's not some random name. It's not James. It's not Paul. It's not Peter. You butt out of that, Charles. Butt out of it. We don't owe you an explanation for a fucking thing, criminal. You get out of my life. Get the fuck out of my life. Get out of my life. Felony, sir. Stalking is a felony. Hacking is a felony. Video voyeurism, I don't know. I haven't looked. It's, 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 it, 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 surely it's a felony to watch a woman in the privacy of her home against her will. Get the fuck out of my life. Get the fuck out of it. Grand larceny with intent to coerce. Interference with commerce, David. You're big on that, bitch. So, how many how many counts are they going to charge you with, sir? So you don't know that yet. You've been looking for those tapes, and you've been looking for those cops. Nobody's, you don't have any takers, do you? This one, this is a recording. I got this from a recording, everybody. Does everybody get it? That was, that's the first one that I was allowed to put out. And then you did it. So what do you want me to lie about? I knew he was going to false arrest me, and then he did false arrest me. I knew Mike Neely was drugged, and then six months later, it was confirmed he was drugged. What is my family supposed to say to that, huh? Golly. Uh, listen, get the hell out. Ch Charles, li listen to the words I'm saying. I hate it when you contact me. You're creepy. I hate it when you contact me. You're creepy. Stop trying to tell me what you think. Why in the hell do you, why do you think I care what you think? Why do you think that? Nobody understands why the fuck you think I, I give two fucks what you think. I don't care. I really don't. I'm sick of hearing it. We're all tired of you. We're all tired of the drama. We're all tired of your soap opera. We're all tired of I need a lie. We're all tired of hearing any fucking thing you have to say. We're sick of it. You need to shut up. And you just, you're like Neil. You never shut up. And everybody's just like, oh my god. It makes you want to hit ya. Matt, Matt, that's just a, it's just an expression, Matt. Charles doesn't need to hire an entourage. You don't need to hire six, you know, Texas Rangers to follow him around everywhere. It's just an expression. Charles, shut up. He always asks me, is it this person? Is it? Charles, I'm not going to help you. Listen to the words. I'm tired of repeating myself, bitch. Write it down. I'm not going to help you. I'm not told who your leaks are, and I wouldn't help you if I knew. When you're gone, which is what I want, so are the problems, and I'll never be broke again. And I won't have to lie. You can take that question. Who is Who told you? Who told on me? Shove it up your ass, and don't ask me again. Stop contacting me. 
Stop bothering me. Stop contacting me. Stop bothering me. Stop it. Get out of my life. Get out of it. Only thing you've gotten out of this is told on and rejected and laughed at and made fun of. Quite a lot, by the way. Shut up and get away from me and don't bother me again. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Please, shut up. Shut up. I don't care what you think. Why can't you get that? I don't want to hear it. I don't care what you think. I don't care. I don't care. Shut up. We're tired of you. Everybody's tired of you. Everybody's sick of you. I'm not going to lie for you. You've told everybody who will listen you're going to starve me into a lie. And you're doing it. Gold star. Okay? What do you want me to lie about? He did exactly what I said. I said it a long time ago. I've been saying it for a year because they've been saying it for a year. Go the fuck away. Go away. Where's Jacqueline when you're sitting on your fat lazy ass, perverting around, bothering people in Oklahoma that want nothing to do with you? David, I don't know you. When you bother me, you're picking a fight with my guys. When we got this, did they ask your permission, sir? Nope. They didn't. They did it. It, it. You know, it's not up to you. It's really not. They've asked you to please leave me alone. I'm asking you to leave me alone. Nobody's picking a fight with you. Nobody's wrecking your car. Nobody's going to your family and fucking with your family. No one's bothering you. Why are you doing it to me? Charles Perry, shut up. Charles Perry, listen to what I'm saying. I don't want to tell... I'm, I'm not told who your leaks are. I've said shut up. Shut up. I'm not told who your leaks are. I don't know who your leaks are. I don't want to help you. I want for you to be gone. I don't want to help you. I want you to get out of my life. When you're gone, so are the problems. So is your creepy. You're creepy, dude. You're fucking creepy. You do nothing but creep me out all fucking day. I hate it. I'm sick of it. Everybody's sick of it. Please understand the words. When you bother me, you get told on because I don't like it. No one likes it. Stop contacting me. I don't know who your leaks are. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to help you. I want you gone. I want your problems gone with you. I want your creepy gone with you. I want your loss and your tragedy and your hardship and your suffering gone with you. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you make my life horrible. You, you, you ask me, is it this person? Is that? I'm just like, oh my God. Listen, whoever else listens to this, fucking explain it to them. Because I feel like I just beat my head on a wall for half an hour. And I have a very bad headache right now. Blood is squirting out my ears. I'm that frustrated with this bitch not listening and getting at what I'm saying. I'm not going to help him. I'm not going to. I want him gone. We all want him gone. The problems with him. The trouble making with him. The loss and tragedy with him. I have zero motivation to help him. When he's gone, I'll never be broke again. So when he bothers me, it's the same thing every day. He gets told on and caught and told on and caught and told on and caught. How they get that information, I'm not told and I don't care. Charles, shut the fuck up! No one owes you an explanation. You're breaking the law. You're pissing everybody off. Stop. The same way they get this to, from you to me, and it's not up to you, they'll do it for you. You won't like how that is. When, did you like how they got that? Did, they, did you like how they got that from you to me? You're not going to like how they put a stop to it at the very end of this. Act like a man. Stop acting like a little girl. You really embarrass. You, you just embarrass everybody. Leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me the fuck alone. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Amen. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not, unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk, you're an ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. 
find a date a different way. Okay, it's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. You need to leave her alone. And this is bacon.